Hello and welcome to Unite and Prosper, the flesh that will not be divided or conquered. While you're watching this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and be sure to share, share, share. Here's a part of an interview with Nancy Pelosi. It looks like it's from some podcast, but it's where she's explaining uh, how she started the coup all by herself and uh, the process of kicking Biden out of the election. Have a listen. You were talking to Joe Biden mm -hmm. in, in a certain kind of language. How would you describe that language? It was almost the way a mother or a father who was particularly good at being a parent tells a child who's already made a bad decision, I'm waiting for you to make a decision of a different sort. You're looking at me and waiting for this moment to pass. <laughs> yeah, but I'm trying to think of why you're even asking it because you know I'm not going to answer it in this in the way that you want. I didn't plan to do that on the show. It was improvised. In fact, if I did, I probably would have worn a different suit or something because I didn't look too professional. But seriously, the um, just it, a little but background. It was, it was like I've you never felt his been pain. that impressed with his political operation. Biden's operation. Yeah, I'm not. I mean, I just haven't been. Uh, they won the White House. Bravo. Right? Mm -hmm. So my concern was this ain't happening. And we have to make a decision mm -hmm. for us this to happen. And the president has to make the decision for that to happen. So people were calling. I never called one person. I, I kept true to my word. Any conversation I had with it was just going to be with him. Mm -hmm. I never made one call to him. They said I was burning up the lines. I was talking to Chuck. I didn't talk to Chuck at all. Chuck Schumer. Chuck at all. Mm -hmm. We didn't talk at all. Uh, and then, and um, I never called one person, but people were calling me saying that, that there was a challenge there. So there, there you have to be a change in uh, the leadership of the campaign or what would come next. Let me just say, I, I won't say necessarily I knew what I was doing at that time. I knew what I was doing in the whole thing, not just that and what was, show. And what was that? That Donald Trump would never set foot in the White House again. Well, there it is, a real threat to democracy. Always seems the Democrats are doing what they blame the Republicans of doing. It's the ultimate pay no attention to the man behind the curtain type of deal. Nancy Pelosi has given the middle finger to every single person that voted for Biden for this election. As the DNC didn't even give any you know, actual real primary to give the people a chance to vote for anyone else but Biden. No de uh, debates or anything like that. And now that Pelosi thinks Biden can't win, well, she goes totally against the American Republic and decides for the people as to who they will vote for, instead of the people deciding themselves. It's been asked uh, who's actually running this country. I'm not 100% sure who is behind that curtain, but I am 100% sure that, that right now, that curtain is made out of iron. And on that note, I'd like to thank you for watching my video. And be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and share, share, share. And you have a wonderful day.